OK, so in this problem, we have the matrix P, which describes an anti-clockwise rotation of 90 degrees about the origin, followed by a reflection in the x-axis, followed by a shear with the y-axis fixed, where 1, 0 is mapped to 1, 5. Find the matrix P. So we have three transformations going on. We've got this transformation, the rotation. Let's call that A. We've got the reflection in the x-axis. Let's call that B. And then we've got the shear, which we'll call C. Now, what I'd like us to do is to try and recall these matrices rather than looking back in notes, OK? So can we figure out what these matrices are? So remember, you know, if you want to, think about the points um, 1, 0, and 0, 1, OK? Now, I know that a matrix A is not that, OK? So what's happening? So 1, 0 is getting mapped to round 90 degrees about the origin. So that's going to 0, 1. And 0, 1 is going round to minus 1, 0. So that's the matrix A. Followed by a reflection in the x-axis. So 1, 0 would map to itself. 0, 1 would go down to 0, minus 1. So that's our reflection in the x-axis. Followed by a shear with the y-axis fixed, where 1, 0 is mapped to 1, 5. Well, that would be 1, 0, 5, 1. OK? So, P then, if we are starting with A, and then B, and then doing C, then we want C, B, A. We're multiplying the matrices in that order. So we have the 1, 0, 5, 1, multiplied with 1, 0, 0, negative 1, multiplied with 0, negative 1, 1, 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these in turn. So I'm going to multiply those two matrices together first. It doesn't matter in which order I now do this, OK? Um, so I could do these two first and or those two first. It's up to you. So 1, 0 times 0, 1 gets me 0. 1, 0 times minus 1, 0 gets me negative 1. 0, negative 1 times 0, 1 gets me negative 1 there. And 0, minus 1 there gets me 0. Right, so we've got 1, 0 multiplying with 0, minus 1. Is, uh, oh, sorry, 0, isn't it? 1, 0 multiplied by negative 1, 0 is negative 1. 5, 1 multiplied with 0, minus 1 is negative 1. And 5, 1 multiplying with minus 1, 0 is negative 5. And so this is the matrix P as required.